Hi there, this video is um, live, very serious interview with Keaton Starner, Labour leader. Well, look, I think we have to stand together on this. I think everybody watching will be a interview and UK by video the senseless, cold-blooded murder of men, women, Times down there, children. the text day is the 11th of October, and, um, Tuesday 23. This is terrorism, this is Hamas terrorism, and Israel has the absolute right to defend herself, and obviously there's an ongoing Aye, hostage situation. So on this, I think, you know, we, the opposition and the government, stand as one um, in standing with Israel. Uh, Grant Chaps was talking about uh, diplomatic support to Israel initially, not ruling out going further than that do you think there should be more practical help potentially military help we can't help them out well i think at the moment Look, the most important thing we're holding out ukraine at the moment we can't stretch ourselves in america can't um no matter my the, the debt that america's in terrorism out um and we do that, that. we have to leave ukraine won't we come on on what the government will do russia will take over ukraine uh, i don't want to get ahead of the government both this, ways because i don't think uh, there should be any party politics in the face of this dark time for Israel, but I do think it's important um, on behalf of all of us here in Liverpool. It's a European war going on, come on. Thoughts, we can't get to war in there as well. Sadly, are with all those who are affected by this. This is terrorism, Hamas terrorism, and Israel must have and does have the right to defend herself. Israel's got plenty of support, plenty yes, of help. It's got, it doesn't need the help. It's got plenty of weapons its own ministry. It can, it can take them on. It'll be all right. We don't need to support them. I was, I <coughs> we don't give them weapons and stuff like the Union Ukraine. I've waited four years It'll be all right. to get the Labour Party from where we landed in 2019 to make this speech, um, which is God, very important awful. to set out the that positive yesterday. case for Labour. For and I was not going to be deflected from that. So that's why I took off my jacket, rolled up my sleeves, good for you, mate. and got on with the speech. Well done. Well, I good, good, good content. My hair, and I, think I enjoyed watching your life well. yesterday, mate. We've worked so hard to change this Labour Party. It's unrecognisable from 2019. Certainly is. The Much and better than what it was. As unfit to govern. And then and now to make our positive case, this was bang on schedule politically for the Labour Party and I wasn't going to let that idea um, deflect us from all of that. Hey, 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 mate, you've and got you my vote. Right. of the opposition. I imagine you have a fairly robust security detail with you most of the time. How on earth did it happen? No. no I mean, it's not my um, job to deal no. with security issues. My it's job was to get on the stage. The guy managed to in charge of the issue with this situation. I made that speech. And, security um, lack for him. You know, many people have said to me here, we know that Labour Party will reassure that you understand stability, but can you build the case for hope on top of that? And that's what I was doing yesterday to say, look, we don't have to go on with what we've had years of decline. No, we, move we don't. You're right. Country to a decade of national renewal. We need a healthier to country. The hope, we need to lose weight. We need to start sorting out these. So many of us in this country. This government in charge, man. It, it ain't country. right. It's unhealthy. I wonder, though, if some voters might think that the speech and the policies that you were talking about could have done with a bit of sparkle as well, dare I say, because, I mean, you talked about housing, lots of talk about housing, how important it is, and yet what you're committing to, 1.5 million new homes over five years, okay. that's only what the about. Conservatives have said that they will do, and, and a lot of people would like you to go further, be more ambitious. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the point of the speech really was to reach for the future and to say we can have a decade of national renewal. It was to draw... Yeah, Woking Town's got much money, though. Uh, ...within all of our communities who work so hard, notwithstanding that work, work, the failure actually. of the last 13 years from government, actually people... And I thought he was going to shut it down next, next, next year, mate. Wish you could save it. ...use that for a decade of national renewal. Oh, you can't really, can housing, hugely important. It's not in charge. I know this personally. We didn't have to in charge here, isn't it? Up, but we mm. had the security of our own home. That meant a huge Walker amount to me and gave me the platform, if you like, the springboard to go forward. So we put the number up there. The question isn't whether the Conservatives will put a number up. They have, but they've consistently failed to deliver. What I've put alongside the number that we pledged yesterday is a plan for delivery, a determination to ensure that we bulldoze through the planning restrictions and that we work with developers to make sure this is delivered. And that is something very important coming out of yesterday, which is 
I am going through a process of bomb-proofing every single thing that we put before the electorate. After the last 13 years, I'm not prepared to have an incoming Labour government, should we be privileged to serve, that doesn't deliver on its promises. So I have robustly tested everything. And the, the question for me is not just the number that we're pledging to build, one and a half million, but have we got the plan in place? Have we got the partners place to actually deliver it? And okay. I'm confident that we can do that. And I'm not prepared to put anything before the electorate that I'm not confident that we can deliver. Okay, well, part of your plan Marvelous. for delivering on housing Very honest, says, man. is a new generation of, Sensible. of new towns to be built. Uh, where are they going to be with these new towns? Well, we do want a new generation of new towns. Uh, there will be a bidding process Aye. now, so communities will be able to bid oh, good. what they want. We will work with developers Marvellous. because, obviously, the job of government is to put the infrastructure around that, the schools, the hospitals, um, the basic services. That exactly. Are needed. But Aye. now, if we're privileged to come into government, there will then be a bidding process so that we get the new towns that we want, where we want them, and that local communities are the ones that are involved in the decisions about where they should be. Okay, any rough, any, Sounds lovely. any rough ideas of regions or areas or particular cities that we're talking about? Mm, no, we're question. in a bidding process. And, and my instinct tells me that we'll get more bids than we think and that therefore, you know, we'll be looking at a range of places. But uh, it will be a bidding process so that this is done in a way that uh, create those Probably not around working in the money, the amount the tight, same time has the or they're getting outdoor builders to do it. Critically, the infrastructure that always needs to go around the new town. Who knows? And um, your speech, you know, obviously you recovered and made your speech, and it's been very well received in lots of areas. But it does seem to be light on detail, and I know you're saying you're trying to bomb-proof your policy promises and bomb proof those details. Sensible man. How can prospective voters know what they're voting for if they don't have the detail ahead of a general election? We put a lot of detail out there over the last 12 months. We put a lot of detail out during this conference. But I felt... Yeah, no, I uh, saw I was it. Thinking about this He's future, right about that. Just another bit of policy isn't what's needed. This needed to be an emotional connection with the future, a sense of... Um, does Keir Starmer, does Labour understand what people have been through these past 13 years and Aye. be able to reach into the soul of the nation and give the hope um, and aspiration that we can build a better future together. So I felt strongly with this speech. Yes, there was policy. There's been policy all week here in Liverpool. But this was more about who am I? Do I get it? Does the Labour Party stand squarely on the ground of aspiration and opportunity for individuals, for families, for communities? Or worse or off at the moment. And can we give them that hope? Because I think too many people feel that our, 13, our last 13 years, almost the hope has been years beaten soon. out of them by this government. And we had to restore that. So this was, if you like, um, trying to create an emotional connection with the future and that sense that... A decade of national renewal, uh, that's what it'll take, um, will absolutely not just fix our country, but take it forward. So can people believe what those promises are, what th that you will follow through on what you're promising to do? Because a lot of the promises that you made back in 2019, you had to abandon. So how do we know that all of these will happen? Well, that's why we're bomb-proofing every policy. And I accept that that means there will be... Um, and have been adjustments in policy. The question I'm asking so things myself... things will change. Well, look, I have asked and made clear that every single thing that we now put before the electorate is bomb-proof, is tested, because of the last 13 years, I don't think it's fair or right to ask the British public to go through more broken promises. So I will only put forward proposals, that's what we're doing at this conference, if I am satisfied that... We're clear what we want to achieve, that we've got... We a can do what we can't do. And we have already identified Very sensible. The partners who will deliver with us. We've had here, many here. businesses here in Liverpool. There's been a lot of talk about that. That's not just for cups of coffee and breakfast. It's to have a sleeves rolled up discussion about how we deliver on our plans because the British public does deserve an incoming Labour government that is absolutely laser focused on this is what I call mission government, which is this driving sense of purpose. So we're bomb proofing everything and will not allow anything to be put before the electorate by the Labour Party at the next election, which I am not confident 
that we can deliver. Okay. Very Until sensible. this week, you've been very cautious about the next election. Mm -hmm. But now you're talking about a decade of renewal, potentially 10 years of, of Labour government. Some people might wonder if you're getting a bit overconfident, if you're getting a bit carried away. Oof. No, I don't think many people accuse me of getting carried away. I have been cautious because we needed to rebuild our party and change our party at speed and ruthlessly. We needed to uh, show what a difference an incoming Labour government could make. So Aye. I'm not getting ahead of myself and I humbly know that we must earn every vote into the general election and there's much more work to do. But on the other hand, I wanted to be honest and say it is not possible to fix everything within five years, given the state no, of the country right. 15 years of this government. It is going to take... He's poisonous chest. He knows it. If we are privileged enough... But the Liberals took over Wokingborough Council in some ways. Is the word, not it's not going to be easy. But after five years, the electorate, of course, are entitled to judge us by uh, the progress that we've made. But I did want to be honest, this is going to be a decade of national renewal if we painful take our country that, up at that. and take our country forward to the place I think it can be by reaching into the spirit of the British people. Well, then we the next the decade. Well, this decade, hopefully. Sir Thank you for joining us here on the end of this decade. There you go, guys. Yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel on Sunday Jones at the Force Speed Weekly Always. Thanks for watching the video. Bye and so.